Hey, I'm Maggie D. I'm back. I'm decluttering. I'm on a tear, <laughs> as they say. I'm down to my, I'm doing lipsticks. I'm going to show you all the lipsticks I'm getting rid of in 2022 to make room for more lipsticks. Probably you could fill up this box all over again of lipsticks that I don't really wear, but I'm just not really ready to let go of them yet. So some of these are very expensive lipsticks that I don't like. I'm just going to go through them. We're not going to swatch them. I'm not going to waste your time with all of that, but we'll just jump right in. I just bought this one, Baby Lips by Maybelline. I saw this on YouTube as like a fantastic lip balm. I hate it. It has glitter in it. The color, I mean, actual glitter, pieces of glitter. 140 pink quartz. Not keeping it, gonna zap it right away. So this one, Physician Formula, Rose Kiss All Day. I just bought this too. It was in my defense on clearance. I should have known big time rose fragrance, big time. And I can't take it. I can't take it for a second. <laughs> it's also matte. So velvet lip color. It's just going out. I tried it twice. Let's see. Let's do Tom Ford. How about that for fancy pantsy? Tom Ford mini. I mean, you know, I don't have a whole lipstick by Tom Ford. I'm too cheap for that. This is a mini. As you can see, I never used it. It's way too dark for me. And it's getting old at this point. I kept it for because it was Tom Ford. <laughs> Number 80, Impassioned. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. This is a strange brand. I've never heard of this. Let me know if you have. Oh, a, a brand I really can't hardly read. Color Design, Sugar Maple, Sheer. It's just nothing. I mean, it's okay. It's brown. Brown makes my teeth look yellow. They're yellow enough as it is. Not keeping it. Uh, I have two Milani's that are um, Matte Diva and Matte Fearless. Matte Diva is a crazy, crazy <laughs> pink. <laughs> Just doesn't match my coloring, and I don't like matte. And then Fearless is way too dark. I jabbed it up against something and then tried to repair it. I don't know if I dropped it. I don't remember, but those are going. Let's see. NYX Matte Lipstick. This is a pretty color. But no, 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 I'm not keeping it. Let's see if I can see what color it is. Tea Rose, pretty color for me. They're all pretty colors, but for my needs, my coloring, I'm trying to keep my glasses down so it doesn't like reflect that big ring light. It's a pretty color, but it's too matte and the it's loose, like this comes off. So you could only use it at home or else you're gonna have like, you know, lipstick all over your purse or hair and fuzz down in there. Mm -mm. Getting rid of it. This I hate. Hate it. Maybelline New York Pink Score Cream Lipstick. This is the worst. I don't know what. I mean, it looks okay, but it looks, it just reminds me of Doris Day. Old Doris Day movies. I don't know. I guess I would say for me, it's not sheer enough. It's too opaque. I don't like it. I'll never get this formula again. I bought this 2020 at CVS on a whim when I was picking up, I mean, Walgreens. Sorry, I don't even have CVS in my town, but there is one in the Colorado Springs where I go to. But anyway, on a whim, while I was picking up prescriptions at Walgreens, I bought it. This is Givenchy Illicit Raspberry. Look at this. I don't know. I don't even remember. I've had this so long. It's... Mm -mm. I have never liked it, and I hate this cap. I don't even think this is the real cap. I think it's like stuck on from something else. <laughs> I don't know. Revlon, you know my holy grail Revlon, super lustrous glass shine lipstick. Love that. Let me just clarify for you really quick. It looks a lot like this, but it comes, this is my holy grail. It comes, see this metal? Look for that. You'll get a more of a balm type lipstick. Glass Shine. Love these. Hate this. <laughs> this is like just too orange for me. It's completely the wrong color. It's a coral color. 
worst color ever on me always. What is it? Rich Girl Red. It doesn't look red to me, but it is super lustrous. Number 830. Some people may love, I mean, I know this color looks fabulous on a lot of people, but not me and not with this hair. Even when I had brown hair, this was not my color. All right. I'm going to toss this Ulta Beauty Shiny Sheer. It is a nice color, and I really kind of, I use like a fourth of it. It's this stupid applicator is the problem. So I'm going to make room. You see it's a brush. Can you see that? So you have to like meticulously like get the visor down and just go, you know. Here I am doing a video about lipstick and I'm not even wearing any. Hardly. <laughs> Isn't this a nice color? But I am so trained to use the doe foot. I want to swipe it and then the hairs go backwards and it's just annoying. You have to like use this as a brush. Mm -mm. Not for me. Never going to buy this again. I'm going to make this make sure I have it on my fails list. All right. Rimmel. I mentioned this in a fail. I use this, put it on twice and literally gagged. This is just not for me. It smells like cough medicine. Like menthol has camphor in it to plump, stay plumped. I guess it's supposed to plump you up or make it feel, make it feel like it's plumping, but it's a no-go. I don't want cough medicine on my lips as a lip gloss. Shiseido. I'm tossing you, babies. This is called their Visionary Gel Lipstick, I believe. Let's see if I can get the name right. It is too small for me to read. But I do have like a Night Rose and Pink Dynasty. So Pink Dynasty, let's get this lip gloss off. It looks pretty. It's just too intense for me. I always blot it off and put gloss over it. So I'm like, why am I keeping this if it's a problem? Here's the Night Rose. I got these. I found them at TJ Maxx. So I... That eases my guilt, though they're not, they're still on the Shiseido website. I love the packaging. It's like metal and it's so cool. And I like Shiseido as a brand in general. If I can get this sorted out right, I'd show them to you. And, you know, I have this theory when something comes in a, like the bullet just is, doesn't come up with full color. It has like a metal shaft or plastic. I'm always like, oh, that's probably going to be for me. But the colors are too intense for me. And then that is not night rose. That's like orange. Am I right? I feel like such a complainer. I feel like a big griper. Like all I'm doing is trash talking these lipsticks. But I mean, they might be fine for some people, but I'm chunking them. They don't work for me. All right. And then we have another Givenchy Mini. So it was fancy from, you know, French. So I kept it all this time. It's that color, the one color that I really can never wear. This in a brown. This is coral. Looks horrible on me. So anyway, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Cut the cord. That's what I've been trying to think of. I have one more lipstick that I'm tossing <laughs> to show you, but I want to tell you how come I'm so good at decluttering. And I am. I'm really good at it. Dana K. White, a slob comes clean. She has this idea. Uh, there's a container. You can find her on YouTube. You can find her on podcasts. She's written several books. This is the size. This is really not my lipstick box. It's a much bigger upright container over here, but this is just a little trash box I'm using. But pretend this is my container. When it's full, that's all you get. Okay, that's the size of your container. Your whole house is a container. Every drawer in your house is a container. Every like area with keys and hooks that's a container it contains six hooks that's all you get so when these things get full when you add more you can't just like you know blob them over or go get another container i guess you can or you can say no this is my container this is all i get i do this with my socks upstairs in my closet it works great i used to have three dresser drawers full of socks. I would never get rid of socks because unless they had a hole in them, I 
didn't I consider them to be still functional. People would give me socks. I get socks. I like wool, merino wool socks. So when you find those at Sierra Trading Post for $2.99, you get them because they're expensive. Anyway, container system changed my life. Go watch Dana K. White if you struggle with decluttering. This is not a sponsored video in any way at all. I will put her links below. The Last Lipstick by Terry. If you haven't watched my, I'm going to wipe this off while we're talking. If you haven't watched my video on decluttering eyeshadow palettes, I sort of went off on the by Terry. <laughs> Terribly Paris palette that I am throwing in the garbage can. It's $56. I bought it on eBay, brand new. I got this at TJ Maxx, but mm, Rouge Expert Click Stick. Now, I love my Sephora Click Stick. Where is it? Right here. I've got this Click Stick Sephora brand. Love it. You click it and it comes up. It is a lot of pl extra plastic, but you know, love it. It's sheer. It feels like nothing. This feels like you're wearing shampoo. It tastes like shampoo and smells like shampoo. It is not for me. This is a triangle teardrop shape. It's supposed to be a lip liner and a lipstick in one. I'm going to use it one more time and that's going in the trash <laughs> just for you. And then this is completely the wrong color for me. It's like a cold purple. I actually look dead when I wear this, but I mean, it's not the brand's fault, the color. That was what I got at TJ Maxx. And this color will look beautiful on the right person. Ugh. I feel like I'm eating rosy baby shampoo right now at this moment. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Why? Why? I don't understand. I don't get it. Who likes this stuff? If you like, <laughs> oh, very fragrant lipsticks, let me know. I would love to know if a human being exists that likes this stuff. I know luxury brands are big. Lug I know luxury brands are big on fragrance, and by Terry is a luxury brand. But this is not for me. I'm throwing it out. So this is everything. All of these, they're all going in recycling. I say throw out. I try to recycle as much as I possibly can. Thank you for watching. I hope this was fun. Most of all, declutter. Use the container system. Listen to Dana K. White's podcast if you struggle. I'm Maggie D. Goodbye and have a good day.